Hi friends, this is Gautam Raj. In this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of how to configure dynamic frame relay. Let's pick and see. In this topology, we have designed head office, three branch office. All of them are connected to cloud. In cloud, we have dozens of frame relay switches. In head office, we can use one local area network that can be named as LAN1 that IP address is 192.168.100.0/24 in branch office 1 we also used one local area network that can be named as LAN2 that IP address is 192.168.101.0/24 it is class C IP address and it is classful address in branch office 2 also we can use one local area network that can be named as LAN3 that IP address is 192.168.102.0/24. It is also class full address and it is class C IP address. And branch of S3 also we can use one local area network that can be named as LAN4. 192.168.103.0/24. It is a class C IP address and it is also class full IP address. In here we in WAN network we can create point to point that means we can create sub interface this is a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 it is a physical interface that can be sub interface into point 0.1, point 0.2 and point 0.3 in point serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 dot 1 200 dot 200 dot 200 dot 0 slash 24 it is a class C IP address and it is a class full IP address so 0.1 indicates head office to branch office 1 0.2 indicates head office to branch office 2 0.3 indicates head office to branch office 3 let's we can assign the IP address to local area network now we can assign the IP address to head office LAN 1 so LAN 1 net ID is 192.168.100.0 let's we can assign 192.168.100.0 100.2 1 can be taken as default gateway subnet mask is 24 default gateway is 192.168.100.1 the default gateway IP address is common for all the PCs in the LAN 1 network 192.168.100.1 168.100.3 subnet mask is 24 default gateway is 192.168.100.1 now the default gateway IP address can be assigned router 0 can be connected to switch through the port fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so in this port we can assign the default gateway IP address now we can go to the router R0 no enable go to the global mode in global mode we can go to that particular interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 now we can assign the IP address IP space address 192.168. sorry 100.1 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 now we can assign the IP address to that interface now we can enable that interface using the command no shutdown exit okay now we can assign the IP address to LAN2 network. The net ID is 192.168.101.0/24. We can go to that PC and assign that IP address. 192.168.101.2. One can be taken as default gateway. Subnet mask is 24. 192.168.101.1. So the default gateway is common for all the PC in the LAN2 network 192.168.101.3 subnet mask is 24 default gateway is 192.168.101.1 now the default gateway IP address can be assigned to the router R1 can be connected to switch 1 through the port fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so in this port we can assign the default gateway IP address now we can go to that particular router R1 no now we can go to the global mode in global mode we can go to that particular interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 now we can assign the IP address IP space address 192.168.101.1 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 
no shutdown to enable that interface exit now we can assign the IP address to LAN3 network the net ID is 192.168.102.0 so we can go to that particular PC to assign that IP address 192.168.102.0 so one can be taken as default gateway subnet mask is 24 default gateway is 192.168.102.1 so the default gateway ip address is common for all the pcs in the lan3 network 192.168.102.3 subnet mask is 24 default gateway is 192.168. 102.1 Now the default gateway IP address can be assigned to the port fast ethernet 0 slash 